Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on pie chart and a bar graph. Uh, it says that there are seven persons, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. They went on a trip, and in the beginning of the trip, each person had with him a certain amount of money, and the amount of money was in the ratio one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not necessarily in that order. Okay. Now each person spent a certain amount of money during the trip, and the uh, this graph shows the amount left with these people. Okay, so this pie chart shows the percent of amount spent by these people, and uh, these this bar graph shows the amount left with these people, and the money in the beginning of the trip was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now using that this we have to answer the questions. Now the trick to solve this question is uh, we are not given the amount with anyone. We just know that it is in the ratio one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now the logic, like you have that income expenditure logic. Let us say a person who's uh, here. You can say that initial amount, initial amount minus amount spent will be equal to amount left. Okay, so if Uh, if this graph shows the amount left if a person has very less amount left then what what does it mean either the person had initial amount less or he spent more or even if that person spent less but if the initial amount is left uh, less uh, very likely that the final amount will be less on the other hand if the initial amount is high and a person spends less the final amount will also be high okay now we will look for extreme cases in all such questions you should start with extreme cases maybe for uh, we cannot tell that for who would be 435 but extremes we can see so daksh if you see daksh has 30 rupees left and here if you see the expenditure daksh is spending less daksh is not spending very high right of course ehsan spent the least but you see ehsan saving is also high right now daksh is spending considerably less second least is his expenditure is less and his final amount is also less so that means his income might be the least right so daksh must be the least person so let us say his income is x okay now can we look at some highest person also so if we see arvind arvind if you see arvind is spending 19% there are some people who have spent more than arvind also okay uh, if you see bhushan has spent more uh, then charles has also spent more okay uh, and arvind is saving the uh, one of the highest right so it is the highest saving and uh, again girish also could be possible so let us try to uh, take two cases right let us say let us consider that in one case let us say arvind is the highest in the second case let us take girish is the highest girish can also be highest why because girish is spending less and his saving is high okay so let us take both cases so let us first take case with arvind 7x and then we will take with girish and probably we will get the answer okay now amount spent is not known to us okay amount spent let us say the total amount is, let the total amount spent be 100y okay so for arvind we will get the equation as 7x minus 19y is equal to 669 and for daksh for daksh we are sure that he is the least earner so x minus 10y is equal to 30 okay so uh, if we multiply by 7 times we will get 7x minus 70y is equal to 210 and if you subtract you get 51y is equal to uh, 459 so that gives you y is equal to 9 right you were getting a possible answer from it so let us take another case let's let's solve using it probably if we get if we match the answer then no need to check for girish okay so y is equal to 9 that means total amount spent is 900 okay 900 so arvind spent 171 okay and arvind we are getting 840 as the income right so now let's put in some other also and try to see arvind uh, bhushan is spending 20% bhushan is spending 180 okay 20% and he is getting 180 so bhushan must be 
360 it is working daksh daksh is 10% 10% means uh, 90 okay daksh is coming 120 which looks one ratio 7 isn't it one ratio 7 this is daksh this is this so let us put for one more and then we will confirm that yes this is the only case okay so uh, if you see for charles charles is spending 25 percent 25 percent means 225 that gives 720 now we are getting the ratios right 120 1 ratio 3 6 7 so this means this suggests that arvind is the highest spender so we will not check for girish no need to check for girish okay now let's fill others also ehsan ehsan is spending 5 percent so 5 percent means 45 ehsan is 480 okay then fagun fagun is 10 percent that is uh 90 and fagun has income of 240 i mean the initial money and girish is 11 percent that is 99 so girish has 600 so is it coming in one two ratio one two three four five six seven one two three four five six and seven so this satisfy the condition so this is the answer i mean the uh, the values that we will get okay now we can answer the questions what is the highest amount that any person had with him at the beginning of the trip the highest amount is 840 how many persons spent at least 30 percent of the amount they had at the beginning of the trip did he spend 30 percent no he spent 50 percent uh, he did not spend 30 percent right he's he spent he did not spend uh, he spent more than 30 percent he did not spend so one two and three people what is the difference between the initial amounts of ehsan and charles so ehsan uh, charles is 720 ehsan is 480 so 240 rupees what is the least amount spent by a person as a percentage of the total amount with him at the beginning of the trip okay so uh, options are there so we will uh, we do not need to calculate we will just see who has the least percentage right if you see this person ehsan right ehsan uh, he is spending just 45 out of 480 right which is less than 10 percent the answer must be 9.38 no need to calculate that whether it is 9.38 or 9.50 it will be less than 10 percent there is only one such option so this is uh, the solution to this set and the answers to these questions.